Even though Missouri voted to legalize recreational marijuana this week, it will be a couple of months before you'll be able to actually walk into a dispensary and buy it. That's right. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leone is live in North Kansas City with how Missouri cannabis craft manufacturers are really already trying to ramp up production. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Lindsay and Teller. Well, it won't be until at least early February until people 21 and older can walk into dispensaries like Bessemer Wellness here in North Kansas City and be able to obtain those THC products. Now, before coming home to Kansas City, I was in Colorado for four years and heavily covered the cannabis industry over there. And for the first time up until yesterday, I got a rare behind the scenes look at Franklin Stash House, which is a craft cannabis manufacturer based here in Kansas City. Take a look at your screen. The site is at an undisclosed closed location and it looked almost like a pharmaceutical facility as you can see with employees carefully taking cannabis flower and putting them in a variety of products from rolls, bombs and even lemonade. They're a brand new business and already have partnerships to make THC products with local KC brands like James Lemonade, Una Familia and Guy Snacks, which in turn means they need more staff and space. Take a listen. Over the next six months, you know, we're going to be needing to buy you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of core components and materials. We're going to be needing to hire dozens of contractors to do facility build out. So, you know, I think you'll see that with quite a few facilities around the state, but that's the real reality of what comes from the recreational market is more jobs and more opportunities, you know, across the board in the industry. And those marijuana chips are still being developed and the cannabis startup is looking to add anywhere between 25 to 50 additional jobs within the next six months. Reporting in North Kansas City, I'm Daniela Leone, KSHB 41 News. So Daniela, you mentioned some of the local yeah. brands. Have they had success being able to team up with KC brands? Do they have other partnerships they're looking at? Yeah, Franklin Stash House, uh, they said within the first 30 days of rolling out that THC infused James lemonade, they were able to sell 10,000 bottles. And so they think that this is a growing industry. More KC brands will want to be part of it as well, which will lead to future partnerships. That's wow. really interesting. The, it is. The, the team up aspect of that. It's think real. about the possibilities. Yes, there's a lot there. All right, Danielle Leon live for us this morning. You can find even more of the midterm election results and what it means for our area on our website right now, KSHB.com. We're still following all those races.